have you guys seen the Obama list? You know, usually, every end of the year, former President Barack Obama released his top songs of the year. And now, I just recently dropped the list. And uh, if you check that list, I am just concerned about our own Nigeria entertainers as well, nothing else. If you, if you check that list, you're going to see a lot of uh, musicians. And uh, you're going to see Water by Tyler. That is the South Africa singer. Then you're going to see Thames. Holy me and you. Holy me and you. Holy me, holy you. Holy me and you. Of course, you guys know, know the song now. So you're going to see uh, Bonner Boy Future 21 Savage sitting on top of the world. Sitting on top of the world. Top of the world. That remix of Puff Daddy song. Then again, you're going to see Unavailable. They know they see me. I'm Unavailable. They be do Future Musa Keys. Then uh, I'm a piano. Asake and Olamide. I'm a piano as a can of I We have a lot of Nigerians here for the first time before. Barack Obama and this, you're going to see just one Nigeria song, one artist. But now we are having how many? Africa, let me, okay, let me call Nigeria before Africa. We have uh, Thames 1, Olamide 2, Asake 3, Bono Boy 4, David O 5. Then from South Africa, we have uh, uh, Tyler. From South Africa, man, we are getting there. But people do not believe Barack Obama indeed listening to songs. Like, like when you check Barack Obama playlist, you are indeed going to see him playing any song. That is so occupied with world issues that he can even sit down to listen to songs. That that list is just fabricated and fake. Maybe someone, someone around this team always release that list. It's not as if. Uh, Barack Obama are usually listening to those songs. We, we, do, we don't know, but this is Barack Obama's favorite music of 2023, according to him. That's his music. Even though you believe oh, whether they listen to the song he did oh, or not, oh, that is left for you. That's his list. You are not staying with Barack Obama to know if he's actually listening to this song, or you don't know Barack Obama's uh, playlist. But I believe he's listening to it, knowing where it's coming from, how well they know music, hip hop songs, and the rest. But now, let's talk about hip hop and Afrobeat. This guy, Nasty C, made a claim. He said, Afrobeat I'm an, and I'm a piano is way more better than hip hop. He said, Afro beat and I'm a piano way more better than hip hop. Let us listen, guys. And I'm a piano are better than hip hop, like music wise. Music wise, bro, let's call a spade a spade, man. I mean, of course, there's some songs where it's like auto tune heavy. This nigga's not saying shit, he's just saying yash a bunch of times. But live instruments, bro, original melodies, niggas who can actually sing. That's music, dog. Their music lost forever. Hip hop, we sample a lot. I'm not being ungrateful to hip hop. I love hip hop. I am hip hop to the core. I am hip hop till I die. Hip hop, we out here playing this weird game where it's like everyone is fake rich. Everyone is fake balling. Everyone is fake gangster. I'm sick and tired of hearing a nigga speaking about spinning in these songs. Like, what are you? You're not spinning nothing. Stop it, dog. Shut the fuck up. This <laughs> that is coming from that to see. And that's really, really, that's that, like, night to see is fairly right. Afrobeat and I'm a piano are better than hip hop in a lot of ways. Afrobeat sounds far much better with a live band performance, especially the high life reading. That's not the case with hip hop. Hip hop, you know, the, the beating doesn't really go well. You know, the melody and everything doesn't really rhyme. I don't even understand how people listen to hip hop. But there are some hip hop that are really, really nice. But not this. 
not this. However, however, this isn't the Afro beat of the likes of Fashi, Vibe, and Neshali Popisha. Both can hardly sing to the mic when the recorded music is turned off on stage. They also really heavily on auto tune to be able to create good sound. Meanwhile, that's to see how the Afro beat before I'm a piano. Why did you switch the world? Well, the only thing is that what I know now is uh, for me. I still believe that Afrobeat and I'm a piano way more better than hip hop. Sound way more better. That is why even in America now they are they are they are appreciating Afrobeat. Why do you think they are embracing Afrobeat and uh, I'm a piano? Because of the melody now. And if you check the rap game, there they are losing credibility. Very soon, they might be fighting against our own musicians. They might be fighting against our own musicians. They are losing credibility. What those rappers be rapping rubbish? Someone who just dropped a record, yeah, his first record, or his first record, is talking about how he bought a Benz, how he bought a, uh, showing this flashy lifestyle, this diamond chain, and everything. I mean, why just borrow? They just fake lifestyle, fake everything. You see, they make you feel like they're making so much billions. Billions. A big lie. Nobody give a, nobody give a damn about them. But they are. Well, okay. Let's, uh, let's move past that, guys. Mm-hmm. Speaking of uh, Afro beat, hip hop, and the rest, let's give a huge thanks when it comes to Nigeria entertainment industry, let's give a huge thanks to those people who paved the way. Someone like the band, the band, Don Jazzy, and the rest of them. And again, when it comes to the band, I've never seen the band smoking a book before. But uh, I saw this video of uh, uh, himself and the uh, brother boy smoking a book, the band. Your head, so strong, like brother boy head. You understand? You are a legend. Eh? Brother boy, they pass you a book. I've never seen, I don't know, I don't know, guys, if you guys have seen the band smoking a book before. I've never seen the, the band dragging like a video, a picture that showed the band actually dragging a book. I've not seen before, but this is for the very first time. And himself and Brother boy, Fino was also there. I keep saying it, the romance, the bromance between Fino and uh, Bono boy does. I don't understand. The other time they said, um, Bono boy gave him his uh, Jesus Christ, uh, his Christ uh, pendant for dash. I don't know if that's true or not, but that was the story as at then. The band are begging. If I had no strong for a book, no spooky book. Understand? No spooky book again, or no spooky book. Leave a book alone for people had no strong for a book. And meanwhile, we saw a video of Fatima Savage and Dakbo. Everyone is already insinuating that that's Tiwa Savage's boyfriend. What makes you think that's Tiwa Savage's boyfriend? I'm not saying Dakbo is too small. To date Tiwa Savage work. Because after all, the guy we saw with on Tiwa Savage tape is a nobody. Absolutely nobody. Absolutely nobody. Absolutely nobody. So I'm not saying that was too small. Hmm? But yet again, it might be. But it might not be all the same though all the same if not that what they chop him <laughs> chop him well <laughs> chop it well chop it well because opportunity that kind of opportunity don't be everybody they say for this life eh now few person very very few not even one to two so chop it well that boy is a man now. So, 
Don't say he's too small. I don't want to say he's too small. But if you guys think he's Dakbo, though, but me, I don't think he's Dakbo. I don't think he's Dakbo. Dakbo is somewhere close to Tiwa Sabi. But if he, that's him, he'll go to fine. He's a man. As long as he's a man, nice one.